What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and in today's video, we're finally taking a look at the closed beta of Ether Gazer. We're just gonna go ahead and jump into this raw. We're gonna go with FG, bruh, as the name. And uh, let's see what this game is all about. I'm gonna skip the story for the sake of the YouTube. Really, FG, you doing it for us? Yeah, dude, I'm doing it for you, not for me, FG. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and skip the story because um, I, I really want to see what the minute to minute gameplay is like. I've done no research on this game whatsoever. Um, but, you know, when you when you throw Yo Star on it, um, it automatically gets my attention. Dude, I almost I definitely feel like I'm playing Punishing Gray Raven already. But better looking, if that makes sense. I mean, Punishing Gray Raven doesn't look bad, but I can already tell there's like more detail in the stages here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ultimate skill charge. Good feeling of impact on the abilities. Great animations. I like how some of her swings kind of throw her off balance. That is nice. <laughs> very, very cool. Maybe not great for swordsmanship, but I like it from like an aesthetic purposes. Oh, don't touch that. It's not. Uh, dude, do I have a little companion? What's up? I can't skip this story, so... We're just going to go ahead and see what's happening. Opening up a danger portal. All right. Big boss encounter with some little dead space mining grinders. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, there's the dodge. And of course, it's like in most games these days. Oh, nice camera angle, FG. Just like most games these days, dodging at the right time is going to give you like a little, a little slowdown effect. Dude. I feel like I'm playing a little bit of Devil May, Devil May Cry trying to keep my uh, my rank over there up. What is Q? I've never seen Q before. Or that's not Q. That's a... Uh... <laughs> oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, not bad. I, like, I, I gotta say right off the bat... As far as combat is concerned, I, I do like a combat system like this way more than the Punishing Gray Raven of like building up and comboing. Uh, I mean, this is a little bit more simple, a little bit more basic. Punishing Gray Raven has a little bit more RNG to it. It keeps you on your toes. I, I can see both sides, but I'm definitely more of a fan of uh, just give me some good old fashioned cooldowns. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, little combo action, huh? Get right out of that just in time. Soundtrack is absolutely slamming. So right now it's trying to teach me my moves. Like it looks like I have to mark the enemies first. That allows me to do more damage. But for right now, I'm just gonna be pressing buttons. <laughs> How's that different from any other day, FG? Hey, hey, you. <laughs> That's enough of that. All right. Good stuff. I guess we gotta go this way. Yep. My ranking is going down. That's okay. Very nice. And then we got ourselves another character here. Jumped up to level four. All right, modifier. So. Level up, just using some EXP materials. Sigils can provide modifiers with extra power. Um, we're going to go ahead and add one. What is this? Like a three set for HP. We've definitely seen stuff like this before. Very nice. And it looks like we can cultivate, a.k.a. level it up. Very cool. All right, see you later. Back to combat, back to the source world, stage three. And now we have this new addition to the squad here. All right, so I can switch on the fly or how does this little little homie work or the game hasn't showed me how yet? Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be more of a more of a system like, uh, someone's gonna get mad at me for giving this comparison, like Noah's Heart, <laughs> where you control the main character um, and you're, 
your uh, these additional units that you bring to combat with you are more like you know additional attacks. But they're also out there just doing some passive damage there as well. But I can't switch to her. Got it. Whee! Let's try to round them up, round them up. Yeah, dude, combat is uh, it's pretty intense. I gotta say, the sound effects, the music, the animations, the light trails on your on your sword, everything just flows really well. So as far as combat is concerned, they definitely have it down. Now, as far as like, you know, the daily grind, the daily loop, quality of life, streamlining, that remains to be seen. And of course, we'll continue playing this game uh, as it gets closer and closer to the actual global launch. I don't, I don't have a release date on this one, um, but the closed beta is just gonna be ending in a few days. So we got ourselves another little homie here, title song, Poseidon. Okay. Let's see what Poseidon's all about. Probably has something to do with water. You came up with that by yourself, MG? I did. <laughs> I took an educated guess, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Her water looks uh, very futuristic-y. Okay. What's up, homie? You're just gonna just shoot that water off for no reason? Oh, uh, never mind. There wasn't an enemy left. My bad. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the satisfaction of just destroying enemies is actually pretty good. Like I was left speechless. Like <laughs> this is not one of those no commentary videos, dude. I was just speechless. I was like, dude, this is uh this is going off. Shout out to Ether Gazer once again. Looks like it absolutely nailed combat. No problems whatsoever on that one. Okay. Oh wow, that's big. That's what. Don't do it, FG. I know, dude. It's a Saturday. Take a break. <laughs> Take a break from from. That's what she says. Gotta get that B up. Oh, what's going on? I can't even hit him. What's happening? Oh, is already dead? Oh, second form? What is this? Just building up this meter. <laughs> I like the viewpoint that you get when you uh, use her ability, right? That little sniper aim down, uh, aim down sights. Viewpoint, pretty cool. On my way. All right, let's see what our girl Poseidon can do. Little heal. Yeah, dude, this is just like destruction untethered. <laughs> like, I'm just, I feel like I'm just going off. Uh oh, here's the weak point, finish him off. Oh, what am I about to get here? That sounds good to me, yep. Let's go, uh oh! Okay, a little team up attack, that was pretty cool. Dude, stylish, very stylish. Yay! And chunk the deuce at the end, and who is this little elf? Marlene in the place to be. Very cool, and we just did our daily login. Now, now you know you're official. This is when you know that you just um, left the tutorial. Um, squad mate special effects, let's go ahead and turn that on high. Everything you've seen so far has been on max setting, 60 frames per second, you love to see. All right, so as far as gameplay, right, we got storyline, we got supplies, which is like a daily resource grind of some sort. Um, some sigil zones here to acquire sigils and ascension materials, and you have challenge, which is tutorial, zone cleaning, reoccurring dream, dimensional variables, casualty survey, and past grudges. Okay, so let's jump on in here, stage one, one. Oh, 
switching it up for us, huh? Giving us a little preview of some other characters. I like it. I like it. Especially in gacha games. She looks very serious. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, dude. Hold up. <laughs> dude, I'm speechless again. <laughs> I can't tell you how good this feels, man. I can't do it. Dude, this is going off. Like, this is just like pure spectacle combat pornography. <laughs> pornography. Let me see if I can avoid the, the YouTube censors. Pornography, dude. Combat pornography. I love the way she attacks, dude. Oh, it's a bow? Wait, has she been using a bow the whole time? Or is she using like finger guns to replicate a bow? I'm not sure. I like it. <laughs> Lots of words, everything. Very cool character there. All right. Ah, oh, that was a that was a pretty good preview. Is it gonna now? Do I have to go back to my old squad? Ah, come on, dude. Um, but it does look like I can at any time switch. So let's see what this little our little rifle girl is up to. And I wonder if the the closed beta has given me enough currency to do any type of summon actions. All right. Oh, she's roller skating too. Take that, punishing gray raven. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh man, and she's doing a little jet set radio break dancing. <laughs> the animations are so good. <laughs> Look at her grind. <laughs> Calm down, FG, I can't, dude. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I was in like turret mode. Dude, she is so stylish. I love this grind attack there. And then, little turret shots. She feels slower, but once again, it feel so far every character I've used feels really good to play. Like all their abilities just feel like on point. Oh, here goes my team up attack, triple combo. <laughs> With me, boom. Too cool, man. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, that was that that convinced me. That pushed me over the edge. I was already feeling combat, but that pushed me over the edge. So the only thing I really, you know, my only open question, what is a scan system? Oh, hello. We made it. Uh yes. Don't show me that ever again. Here is the full summon animation. Let's go. We got to slide this in or slide it out. Yep, there you go. Let me go ahead and judge this. Okay, a little outer space action. Looks like a space station. Not much of anything. We got a duplicate of our girl there. I guess we'll see what dupes are all about. Let me see what's in my mailbox. I just jumped into my mailbox, hit claim all. Let's see, we got ourselves a little multi-hand lolly waifu there. Let's see what else we got. Oh wow, look at you. Yeah, we definitely have to do another, another run here with all these new characters, my goodness. All right, operations. Let's go to stage one, three. Prepare for battle. Um, so we're gonna go for an all new team. Here's a, oh wow. <laughs> Dude, I have no poker face whatsoever. No poker face whatsoever. Okay, I think, is this a husbando? His voice is a little deep, or her voice is a little deep. Oh, look at this. I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna make this up on the fly, but I'm pretty sure the fact that this weapon is so long, it's actually a Nodashi. Don't fact check it, just respect it, all right? And just be happy, or just be uh, impressed that FG knew something besides a katana, all right? Give me a little slack. All right, where am I going? <laughs> After that impressive display, now I'm just lost. <laughs> Dude, where am, where am I going? Oh wait, there's an arrow this way. Even my, main, even my character is getting mad at me, like really, dude? Great voice acting. Stop right there, criminal scrum. Skip. Hopefully I can get that triple combo team up attack here. Oh my goodness, all the freezes. So this character right here, all of his weapon swings just feel really deliberate and strong, which makes sense. Oh, a little drunken husbando. Take a little swig of the flask on that ask. <laughs> Give me a little swig of that flask on that ask. You know what I'm saying? 
right. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just took my pre-workout. We're about to go work out on some shoulders, tries, and buys after this. But first, we got some sword swiping to do. I do like the fact that my, uh, it feels like my, my companions are not useless. Like, they're killing things before I even get to them. I like that. I know this is not a gotcha game, but there's nothing more annoying than like when you're playing like Call of Duty and you have like NPC companions and they're just like shooting nonstop, right? They're just shooting at enemies nonstop, but nothing ever dies. Like, dude, don't give me companions if they're useless. I don't care if they kill before me. I I, I welcome it. <laughs> let them do the dirty work. All right, let me switch to that uh, multi-arm Alali Waifu real quick. Dude, we're just rocking these uh these levels here. All right. Switch it up. Also, um, I haven't talked about. Let's let's judge it real quick. Judging. Low times are pretty snappy as well. Oh, look at that! I feel like I'm playing that one game from Capcom, Asura's Wrath. There you go, dude. So you can like kind of put them in a globe and oh my, there's just so much happening. All right, so there's a setting in your graphic settings where you can kind of turn down your companion effects if you choose to, um, but I don't choose to at the moment. I don't know how long we're going, but um, we're just gonna keep on going. At least, I guess, defeat chapter one here, right? But uh, so far, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with the character designs, the world designs, quick load times, and really solid uh, character differentiation. Like, all the characters just feel really different, and they feel the way they, they're supposed to, if that makes sense. Like, these big, massive fists, they feel like you're fisting... Uh, wait. They feel like you're punching enemies! <laughs> I like my little freezing waifu back there that's just doing all my dirty work for me. Freeze them all up, DPS them down. Yeah, very satisfying attacks there. I'm so strong. Um, I'm sure this is just like beta fodder, right? They're just giving us a bunch of extra power for no reason. Um, but it feels pretty good. And once again, I do prefer this combat system over punishing Grey Raven. You know, I, I, I just do. Um, I think that's, I definitely think that's subjective though. Oh, hello, another one. That's definitely subjective though, right? It depends on what you're into. But I like to be able to know that, yeah, if I press this button, I'm gonna get this attack done and done. Oh, another one of these waifus, but this one's a blonde, and she still has, like, the the fist arrows, and she feels just as good. Look at this, dude. That is just, dude, this is just so stylish. This is so stylish. Once again, this is combat porn. Wait, how did I say it last time? I forgot how I said it. <laughs> I said it's way more clever uh, earlier in the video. <laughs> Whatever, you know, you know, rewind it. Woo! And this this is definitely my favorite one because she's a blonde. I like that. And then here comes the bow out of nowhere. I do like that, dude. Like a hidden bow and arrow character that only whips out the bow when needed. Just destruction! <laughs> Dude, I need one of them gauntlets. Or is it her whole arm? Is she like an android? Why don't you pay attention to the story, FG? Come on, man. What you want me to do? Come on. <laughs> you want this video to be 12 hours long? What you want me to do? We still going? Um, no. I think that's going to be it for right now. Let's go to scan. Did I get a bunch of currency? I did get a bunch of currency. Um, so let's just do... I got 10... Oh, let's see. A couple of dupes there. So if you skip this, it skips the animation and the follow-ups. So I don't think it's going to show us anybody special. But so far, I haven't really gotten any S characters. I can kind of see who we... Bunch of dupes here, a couple of A's. Bunch of A characters. So I didn't get anything out of the gotcha on Forge. Um, but that's okay. What a nice first impression. Oh, this is not really a first impression. Just like a raw Let's Play. I'm very impressed with this game so far, man. It feels really good. Uh, once again, you know... It's going to fall into the kind of same trap as these action RPGs tend to fall in. Um, is the game going to be fun to play every single day? That's where quality of life really needs to come in, and they really need to kind of manage that. Um, but once again, once the game gets closer to Global Launch, we'll explore more of that in follow-up videos. But I can tell you at its core, very impressed so far, my friends. Look at this, dude. 
soundtrack is slamming. I like the variety of the stages here. Just good, and it runs so smooth. It might be because I'm playing on my Red Magic 7S Pro. You guys know, one of the best gaming phones you ever didn't see. Check my link down below. Red Magic is how the gamers game. <laughs> what? Down you go. I want to do one more triple combo, but we just kill things so fast. Like her a lot. Yeah, this... this Big Fist Waifu, L Lolly Waifu, is definitely one of my favorites so far. Uh, oh, this is perfect. Is this like a little boss stage? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's switch to Frozen Waifu. And let's see what we got. Elsa, don't let us down. So far, every character I've clicked on has been satisfying to use. Let's see. More mage abilities here. Oh, that felt good. Nice tall waifu, too. Oh, a little frozen um, dodge there. Nice effects. Yeah, even the even these ice shards feel really good. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh, I thought you were going to get bigger than that. <laughs> I thought I was about to be intimidated. All right, get, the, get ulted to the face. Frozen waifu. Let's go. Got my homies doing team up attacks as well. Wow, that's it. That's just GG. <laughs> that's just complete GG. Really good uh, uh, skill effects, dude. All the quality of all the graphics here and the skill effects just look so solid. Oh, you got to keep going? All right, that's going to be it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it, man. A nice little preview of Ether Gazer. Um, once again, I am going to continue to follow this game as it gets closer and closer to global launch. Um, but so far, so good. My name is FGBRA, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.